Mary from Reviewer's Diary. I've been away for a while. Um, it looks like the last time I posted on my channel was a month ago. At that time I had posted that um, I would be going away to take care of mom. Uh, she did pass away. Uh, she died on the 18th of November and I've been having quite a bit of trouble coping. I think, you know, you forget and you think, oh, I have to tell mom about that. Oh, you can't. Um, it's hard to get beyond the fact that I will never hear her voice again or touch her again or feel her touch again or hear her laugh again. Um, she had a really good sense of humor and um, she used to, when she'd really have a good laugh, she'd throw her head back and laugh out loud. And um, she was smart and she was funny. And I miss her terribly. So anyway, I'm back and um, <clears throat> I'm just starting to feel like kind of like okay, uh, but it, it does take time. And uh, I know when my dad died, I I was like randomly crying. Like I'd be like all of a sudden I would just break down and I've been doing pretty much the same with mom. Um, but now I can look back and think about dad and the funny stuff he used to do and say and um, I remember him more that way. Um, right now it's too soon and I just remember my mom sick. Um, I remember all the good stuff too, but I, I want to get to the point where someday I'll think about her and think about the good stuff like I do with dad, but it's just going to take time. So anyway, I did want to let you guys know that's where I've been and that's what's been happening in my life. Um, thank you. Uh, a lot of you have written to me, you know, concerned about where I am because I've been a pretty reliable YouTuber, <laughs> you know, try to get like two or three videos up every week, sometimes every other day, which ends up like three, you know, videos a week, which I really do enjoy doing this. I really do enjoy YouTube and I enjoy your comments and I read all of them. And um, there are a few that I haven't responded to yet, but I try to respond to everyone um, who makes a comment. Um, so anyway, I'm back. So what you're going to be seeing, what you have to look forward to is you're going to see what the first, probably the first video that I'm going to do is the stuff that I brought with me to Florida. I always bring too much makeup. I'm not even going to go over the toiletries because it would take forever. So I'm just going to go over the makeup that I brought to Florida. I have, if you can see behind me, I have unboxings to do, but uh, now I've reached month two and so what I'm going to be doing is double unboxings as other boxes arrive. The only exception is Birchbox. I got it once. Um, I keep getting it once and then I'm like, I don't know, and then I cancel it. <laughs> it's like, I keep going back and forth. I have an Ipsy bag back there, but I remained subscribed to Ipsy and my bag is apparently ready for shipping. So I'll wait until that happens. I have two Beauty Fix boxes back there. I do have a box from Clover Box. Um, I don't know, like I've told you before when I do unboxings for Clover Box, I never count on getting a box. And so, you know, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna get a December box or not. By the way, happy birthday to me, December 9th is my birthday. I do have one box and I'll wait probably another week to see if I get another box from them um, before I do an unboxing. And gosh, I, I did break my no buy, but not crazy. I've been on a no buy, just in case you may not recall, I went on a no buy back in March. So I've been on a no buy for God, let's see, nine months. And 
it's really like changed my thinking to why am I buying all this crap? <laughs> so I've already decluttered quite a bit. I'll probably do another declutter. Uh, at some point, I, we've kind of overloaded the girls that we give the makeup to with makeup, so I may put some stuff on a blog sale, but nothing that's too old, because stuff that's too old, you really can't give to somebody. Um, pretty much almost every foundation I own is too old now to give away. So um, you'll see a lot of those. You'll also see reviews. Uh, one of the things that I did is I bought... Um, two more uh, makeup removing bombs, um, you know, the creamy stuff that turns into oil. I already have one from Pixi that I really like, but I also got one from Pharmacy and I got one from Asiate. I'm trying to stay with only cruelty free stuff, um, and both of those were uh, rated as being cruelty free as Pixie is. So I'm going to be doing a video about how they perform. I'm going to start taking notes and I'll be doing a video about those three um, makeup removal bombs. I've heard from a couple people that they prefer my product reviews over my unboxings and I totally understand that because it is important to know how things perform and whether you like them or not. And so, um, yeah, I'll do, be doing reviews of everything, including the things that I have that are not cruelty free. And so some of you might um, not like that, but you know what? I don't review just for a set group of people. I review for everyone. And so not everyone has decided to go cruelty free. And I don't judge people for that, and no one should judge people for that. It's totally, um, of course, I wish everyone on earth went cruelty free, but that's not for us to judge other people whether they are or not. So anyway, um, plus products change from week to week. It's like something's cruelty free this week, and then it's not cruelty free next week. So anyway, you do have a lot of videos to look forward to. I am going to start recording them. I'm actually going to record one tonight, so you'll see this. Uh, maybe two if I have the time. I'm hoping um, that I have the time, but it looks like my time is running short. And I am probably going to do a giveaway soon because while I was away, my subscriber count actually went up and I thought it would go down but it actually went up. So thank you very much. Anyone who's a new subscriber, you do have a lot to look forward to on this channel. And by the way, my daughter uh, for my birthday bought me good jeans. And so I'll also be doing a review on that product and how I am going to try to integrate it into my um, skincare. I love my skincare. Like there's nothing better than massaging oils and stuff into your skin. I just love it. But there are some favorites and some fails that are also going to come because one of the oils that I've been using is a total fail. I mean, it hurts your eyes to the point it hurts your eyelashes. And so <laughs> I am going to stop using it, but I want to um, review it for you guys. And so they'll, there will be a favorites um, and fails video. I haven't done a favorites video in a long time, and so I'm going to get back to that this um, with a uh, November, December favorites. There is a lot that you can look forward to, and I really appreciate you guys sticking around, and I really appreciate my viewers, and it's just awesome. So anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary, and I am back back in town. And thank you, the people who uh, Google told um, it was my birthday. I got a whole bunch of happy birthday messages today. So I appreciate that. So anyway, thank you very much and have a beautiful evening. Good night.